Hi Patrick, uh, nice to meet you here and first I'd like to thank you for making this great conference, this great event, the DevOps Days. Uh, so please t tell us about what, in, in, can, could you explain a few words, what does DevOps is? Well, for me it was like uh, when I worked in a lot of com uh, companies uh, about breaking the barriers to get uh, uh, things better working. And uh, so I guess uh, the name DevOps was, okay, Dev and Ops, but it's more than that. It's like also uh, the business coming in. So uh, it might be uh, not the exact term, but it was a term that stuck. And uh, I guess it's all like everybody involved towards the same goal. So not no local goals for each department, but getting everybody behind the same thing. Ah, great. So what, in your opinion, uh, were the most important things we discussed today in this event? Well, one of the things I really liked is that, uh, that there was a lot of talk about uh, culture and that it, it's a hard problem to crack. Um, I really liked the suggestion of starting with uh, the behavior first. Um, and I think technology, we might not have all the tools we want, but okay, that's, for me that's an easy problem to solve have been solving automation for a long time but getting people into the spirit of working together I think that's the hard part and we can learn a lot of uh, of that for uh, in the coming years to uh, to overcome the barriers and that's one of the things that for me that stood out of the conference so we we, we talk it out also about cloud computing and uh, its relationship between cloud computing and and DevOps what in is in your opinion this relation well uh, as well, it's one of the enablers that made it all easy, like get a new machine and get it real quick. Because if you if the process uh, takes too long, getting feedback about uh, building a new system, getting the resources you want, then you, people get like uh, frustrated that it takes a long time. So cloud computing, we have learned a lot of it uh, that we can apply now in the enterprises with the virtualization as an enabler to, to make it work there. So for me, I don't do like a lot of cloud stuff, but I learn a lot about people doing stuff in the cloud and trying to apply it into uh, the enterprises. Great. Um, Patrick, uh, what are the open issues about DevOps that we, we already has, have to answer? Well, we, we still have a, little, a lot of ground to cover. Uh, I always say it's like uh, currently we are like uh, the anonymous alcoholics, so we all plead guilty and we start telling our stories. I think the next step is getting all these stories and see why they worked for somebody and why they didn't work for somebody and try to figure out a way, like a, a kind of common knowledge on how to apply these things. So I think that's probably one of the steps I'm going to take next uh, that I would like really have people being involved on, on figuring out how we can make it like uh, a, a kind of recipe for people to start working with it. Because a lot of people start asking me, how can we become DevOps? And there's no easy question <laughs> uh, answer for that. So, so that was that were my la my last question was, was exactly this: uh, how uh, our CISAD means, for example, the the, uh, the developers are already familiar with. Agile methods and those things. Uh, what do you suggest to uh, sysadmins to look for to become more uh, more DevOps or more agile? Uh, my experience is that they they usually get in from it from the automation part because they love to do like play with servers and tools. Uh, but like I said, it's it's not the most hard part. But we yeah, we see some exciting uh, like technologies like Puppet and Chef to to leverage that. But, well, there was one of the talks was about like seeing the whole value chain and mapping the, the value chain and in, usually in development projects it stops at the, the business and then it, it stops at the operational point. And I think if people from the operational point of view start <laughs> seeing their role in the value chain and then everybody starts to see that, I guess that's... Well, mapping that uh, for a company would give you like the first state how it is and from there start improving steps little by little and, and, and see how it goes. 
uh, I believe that every company is different and they have like different ways that it can work. But uh, you need first the global picture and that helps in seeing what you have to optimize and where you have to optimize it. For people to know more about DevOps, uh, where should they look for a, a reference about it? Do um, we have some? <laughs> well, currently we have like the Agile System Administration Group and there's the DevOps tool chain. Um, they're both like Google uh, mailing lists. Uh, I'm working on uh, DevOps.info where I hope like to gather all the information I've been collecting and that other people can be contributing. But for the moment it's pretty much like search Google or search Twitter for the keyword DevOps. There are not that many hits yet, <laughs> so you can still uh, work your way through. Uh, but like I said, Getting the storage uh, together in in a in a common place it's one of the key areas wh where we have to uh, start working on that. Okay, Patrick, thank you very much. Send goodbye to Brazil. Okay, Brazil. Uh, I hope uh, I can do a DevOps days in Brazil. It would be nice with the weather and it would be fun too. So uh, who knows? Thank you.